Welcome now to another installment of Dogs in the City. Lori Wax, thanks Good for being morning. here from Thank the Humane you. Society of Greater Miami. And you brought along Rudy here. Nothing rude about this guy. Just plopped right down no. on my lap and hasn't flinched at he, all. You know what? He's not the small little lap dog no. like we were saying earlier, but he's really well behaved. He's a four-year-old schnauzer. He was returned to our shelter. You know, unfortunately, after a while, the people couldn't keep him anymore, which does happen sometimes. Mm -hmm. But luckily, they brought him back to us. And you know what, he does know some of his commands and he is pretty well house trained as well. So that's really a good thing. So it'll be an easy transition for someone to take him into their home, um, you know, but uh, he's a, a super dog and very relaxed and yet playful at the same time because of the age. Yeah. He definitely knows the sit command because um, he's just hanging out, sitting pretty right now. Yeah. Lori, all the dogs that are adopted out through the Humane Society, obviously spayed and neutered and everything is taken yes, care of, but there are absolutely. options for people in the community as well, yes, right? Yes, we have the partnership with the clinic in uh, South Miami where the dogs and cats, if you can show proof of low income or food stamps, you can get free spayed and neutering and it includes rabies shots as well for your pet. So it's really, really a great offer. It's at our clinic and our partnership in uh, Cutler Bay. So if you can bring your dog there or your cat, we will do that for free. As well, if you can show proof of a community cat, and there are so many still, as much as I always talk about the community <laughs> cat situation, there are a lot out there, but if you have one in your neighborhood that you're able to bring in um, that's not one that lives with you, then we will do that for free as well. All right, great. Lori, thank you so well, much. Thank you. And thanks as well to Rudy here. Let's find him a good home. I hope so.